In the world of professional photography, there is a name that sends a shiver down the spine of every competitor. A name that represents the absolute pinnacle of resolution, detail, and engineering. Its name is the Sony R series. But right now, something is happening behind the closed doors of Sony's development labs in Tokyo that is about to make every other camera on the market look like a toy. We are standing on the precipice of the Sony A7R6. And if you think this is just another minor megapixels bump, you are deeply mistaken. This camera isn't just coming to update the line, it's coming to end the resolution war once and for all. Welcome to my channel Tech Launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. For the last decade, Sony has been the king of the mirrorless revolution. But the landscape has changed. With Nikon and Canon finally catching up, Sony has been forced to do something radical. They have been forced to innovate in a way that feels almost illegal. The whispers coming out of the supply chain aren't just about a new sensor, they are about a fundamental shift in how light is captured. We are talking about a rumored 95 to 100 megapixel full-frame beast that utilizes a new global shutter-adjacent technology. Imagine the detail of a medium format camera, the speed of a sports camera, and the body of a mirrorless workhorse. This is the unicorn that professionals have been dreaming of, and it's finally becoming a reality. But before you get too excited, there is a massive question that no one is asking. Who is this camera actually for, and will your current lenses even survive it? Most people don't realize that when you push resolution this high, you expose the flaws in every piece of glass you own. Your expensive G Master lenses are about to be put to the ultimate stress test. We're going to break down why this camera is a double-edged sword, the secret AI-driven features that Sony is using to stay ahead of the curve, and the true cost of owning a machine that produces files so large they could crash a standard laptop. You need to watch every second of this, because the A7R6 is about to change the rules of the game, and you don't want to be on the losing side of that transition. The heart of the A7R6 is its sensor. Four years, the 61 megapixel count of the Mark IV and Mark V was the gold standard. But Sony is ready to shatter that ceiling. The industry is buzzing about a new, stacked, high-resolution sensor. In the past, you had to choose. Do you want high resolution or do you want speed? Usually, you couldn't have both because moving 60 plus megapixels of data through a processor takes time. But with the new Bion's XR2 processor architecture, the A7R6 is expected to handle 100 megapixels with the fluidity of a 24 megapixel camera. We are talking about 10 to 12 frames per second at full resolution. That is an insane amount of data, nearly a gigabyte of information every single second. Think about what that means for a landscape photographer. You can crop into a photo by 400% and still have enough detail for a gallery-sized print. Think about what that means for fashion and commercial photographers. The skin texture, the fabric weave, the minute details of a product, it will be so sharp it will feel like you can reach into the screen and touch it. But this isn't just about pixels. It's about the AI processing unit that Sony debuted in the Mark V, now evolved into something much more powerful. This camera won't just see a face. It will understand human anatomy. It will predict where an eye will be even if the subject turns their back.